Now we're going to work on an exercise to customize a navigation menu widget. So after this exercise, we will have learned the following. Firstly, how to create a navigation widget template, and then changing the template on the navigation menu for the default site. Here are the steps that we'll be taking in today's exercise. First, we'll add alert information if there are no pages. Then we'll add a macro for the navigation pages. We'll add a nav item and the nav item CSS variables. We'll add an if statement for child pages in the menu, and then add play icon macros for child menu icons. Then we'll add a list with child navigation items and macro. Fill us the final navigation code using the custom macro. Then we'll add in the new navigation widget template to the platform, change the theme, and then change the navigation widget template. After this exercise, there will be a few bonus exercises that I won't be going through, but that you can try for yourself. And this includes creating child pages to test the navigation. You can test the navigation in mobile, tablet, or desktop sizes using the simulation menu at the top right. And then you can also try creating new widget templates for other widgets. And with that, let's get into the exercise. So in this exercise, we will learn how to customize a navigation menu widget. We're gonna start this exercise by creating a global snippets file in Visual Studio Code. So we'll go to our Visual Studio Code. We'll go to the user snippets menu. So you can get there by file preferences, user snippets. From here, we're gonna create a new global snippets file. We'll type in LFR widget snippets templates. And then this will be LFR templates code snippets as the full name. Go ahead and save that. Now we'll add in the snippet content. So we'll open up our exercise folder and we'll find widget template snippets. We'll open that file up, select all of the contents within it, copy it, and then we'll replace the snippets file within here. We'll go ahead and save that after it's loaded. Now we'll go ahead and add alert information if there are no pages. So we'll open up our module exercise folder. We'll find vertical navigation FTL in the module exercise folder, and then we'll drag this in into our Visual Studio code. We'll find the first comment if there's no content message here. We'll replace this by typing in LFR widget, and then we'll choose 04 if no content message. We'll also add a macro for the navigation pages. And so we'll find the comment at the very bottom that says insert 05 build navigation macro here. We'll go ahead and type in LFR widget, and then we'll replace this with 05 build navigation macro here. We can go ahead and save this for now. Now, we'll go ahead and add the nav item and nav item CSS variables. So we'll find the 06 nav items assignment snippets right there. We'll highlight that, and then we'll type in LFR widget, and then replace this with 06 nav item assignments. And then we'll add an if statement for child pages in the menu. And so we'll find the 07 comment right here, child menu if statement. And you can go ahead and replace this with widget templates, children menu if statements. And we'll see that we're using the if command statement to see if there are any children in order to display content. Now after this, we're going to add clay icon macros for child menu icons. And so right here within the first assign block, we have a comment eight opt clay symbol macros snippet. And then we'll go ahead and replace this by typing LFR 08 right here. And so what this is doing, is creating two span classes, one that's open, one that's closed. And then this will, the caret right will be the closed position. And this is an arrow pointing to the right that when you close it, you can then expand it into a caret at the bottom. So we'll be able to display items when it's opened or closed. Now we'll add a list with child navigation items. So we'll go ahead and find this comment right here. And then we'll use the snippet LFR widgets 09. And then what this is doing is it's creating a list with the browsable children within the navigation items. And then for each of these, it's classifying as nav item child and it's building a navigation or a link to each of these children. And then we'll add the final navigation code using the custom macro. So we'll find this closer to top. Right here, we have insert 10 nav menu using a macro here. And then we'll type in LFR widget, place this with 10, and then we can save this file. 
Now we'll have to add the new navigation widget template to the platform. So we'll go ahead to the default site in our browser, open up the site administration, the design widget templates, and then we'll go ahead and click add at the top right. And we'll choose a navigation menu template. So we'll have to scroll down to find that. For the name, we'll type in vertical navigation template. And then within our Visual Studio code, we'll copy the completed template. And then we'll replace this within the editor. And we'll go down to the bottom, save. Now we'll go to the site builder in the site administration, go to pages. Next to public pages, we'll click the gear configuration icon. And then we'll click change current theme. And we'll make sure that this is on the classic theme. Click save. We'll change the navigation widget template. So within home in our site administration panel, click that. We'll click the options menu at the top of the navigation menu. So right here, we'll click configuration. And then for the display template, we'll drop this down. And then we'll choose vertical navigation template, which is what we selected just now. We'll click save. We'll close the pop-up and then we'll see that our navigation menu displays vertically now. If you want to see additional child carrot icons, you'll have to create child pages in order to see that, but you can try that on your own. And so this is it for creating a widget template.